1 and 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of what? Power. Sound mind. Unclean spirits makes you lose your mind. In the Bible, people with unclean spirits lost their mind, and it gives you a form of... No, ain't nothing funny. Please, this is not funny. We call it ghetto, ratchet. No, y'all laughing. I'm not laughing. We call it ghetto and ratchet and that's so ghetto. That's it's mental retardation because a lot of weird things are happening to some of our young people, especially when it comes to these demons and different things they're putting in their minds and their bodies and it's causing their minds to slip. Factors contributing to mental issues, genetics. Mental health issues can be passed down genetically if never addressed. Denial can be dangerous because if it's never addressed, people will get used to abnormal behavior. Trauma, intense physical or mental trauma can cause mental challenges. Trying to compartmentalize or even conceal pain, anger, sorrow, or hatred can cause erratic behavior based on feeling and not logic. That somebody don't talk about it, won't deal with it, it'll, make, it'll mess up their thinking. Oh, the pastors in here should have all said amen. amen. Developmental instability, the emotional state of the mother during pregnancy can vastly affect the behavior and mental state of the child. When the pregnancy is unwanted or the relationship of the mother and father is stressful, it can be damaging to the development of the unborn child's mental state. Yeah. Yeah. Women go into deep states of depression while they're carrying a baby. It will affect the way that baby's formed because that baby can only draw from what you are. Diet. Our brain is an engine. Bad fuel makes it run sluggishly. What we eat and how we sleep greatly affects our mental state. Junk food gives us junky thoughts and our decisions making is compromised. I got a whole video about it, Pharmacos. Music and entertainment. What we listen to and watch if we fill our minds with sinful things, we will become sinful and lose our desire for truth and righteousness. This opens us up for guidance from unclean spirits instead of the Holy Spirit. And then, number one, illicit sex. Our feelings about ourselves will dictate how we think and behave. If we become sexually active outside of marriage, we form sex soul ties with people. What's in them is now a part of us and vice versa. We cannot function as being one with them, even though the act of sex made us one, so we lose a part of ourselves. Let me say that again, because somebody didn't get it. I, I read it too fast. We cannot function as being one with them, even though the act of sex made us one, so we lose a part of ourselves. The more this happens, the less of ourselves we have to function with. This causes severe mental challenges and changes the way we behave toward others y'all still with me yeah that's a baby with a pacifier with grills on it they sell that I'm just showing y'all examples of what I'm talking about this guy come on what's his name class this lady showing her body in Walmart this lady in a buggy in Walmart. These dudes working on a car, pants sagging. They don't even have a free hand to work on the car. They holding their pants up. Y'all gonna tell me something? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not laughing. This lady sitting in the cold section of Walmart. This guy grilled all of his teeth. This guy burned every one of his knuckles and is wearing a, a Freemason ring. And this guy has jolly ranchers on the ends of his braids. This lady's in the store in her pajamas. When we see this stuff, we think ratchet, we think ghetto. We don't understand it is a form of mental retardation. Yes, it is. And it's coming directly from what we're eating, lack of sleep, and this music. Can I keep going? 
When we are not operating in our right minds, we open ourselves up for unclean spirits to operate through us. We must guard our hearts and minds always, making good decisions and doing what is right according to the word of God acts as a shield against the thoughts of the enemy. 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, casting down imagination, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing our thoughts into captivity, meaning we arrest our thoughts so we can keep our thoughts pure. Amen? Ephesians 3 and 10, the purpose is, it's one of my favorite passages in the whole Bible because Paul just lays out what the purpose of the church is. Through the church, the complicated, many-sided wisdom of God and all its infinite variety and innumerable aspects might now be made known to the angelic rulers and authorities, principalities and powers in the heavenly sphere. Did you just hear that? The church, our job is to show all the beings from old, all the beings, everything, to show them who God really is through us. All angelic powers through us. Dimensions, 